Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video early morning cooking. Um, if you guys watched my last video on cooking, you'll see that I did fried green tomatoes and they turned out really, really, really awesome. A um, few of the side notes is that's the first time I've ever cooked them in, you know, like that much oil. And boy, that oil is really hard to clean up afterwards. It's nasty from the flour and the, I also use cornmeal. Which, I think I'm just going to stick with the flour. I've got it figured out now. Anyways, with that being said, now what we're going to do is hot ham and cheese. Now, I debated on how to do this hot ham and cheese. And the reason being is because I didn't have normal ham. All I have is chip chop deli ham. So, I debated on how I was going to do this a couple different ways. I was just going to basically do it in the skillet without the bread. And toast my bread. And I don't think that's the way I'm going to do it. So... Let me get it all set up here and I'll show you exactly how we're going to do this. And you can see the ingredients all down here. And there we go. That's the ingredients and that's what we're using. Ham, cheese, and bread. Pretty simple. I will grab some butter out of the refrigerator. I grab my butter. So, and a butter knife. So that's what we're doing. Hot ham and cheese. So let me get it all made up. And, well, I mean, maybe you guys want to see how, well, actually, I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. First thing I'm going to do is try to pre-warm or pre-fry my ham a little bit. So, let me get to doing that, and then I'll bring you back on that one. Okay, so I have the ham frying and skillet back behind me. And in case you guys don't know what chip chop ham is, this is basically what happens to it. It just comes out, it's all chipped up, it's all chopped up, there's no solid pieces. Mmm, I gotta eat that for you. Anyway, that's chip top ham. Uh, what do they call it? Well, they don't. They just call it ham off the bone. So, anyways, you can hear it sizzling in the background. I'm basically just going to let it kind of brown on both sides. Get my spatula out here. And let's get you guys up here, maybe to where you can see just a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm not going to bring you in on a close-up or anything because I don't want to splash grease all over my camera. And we're just basically going to keep flipping it and flattening it out as much as we can. And this is basically what it's going to look like. We're just kind of trying to warm it up, get it all ready. And while we're doing that, we'll go ahead and get our bread ready. Um, grab four pieces of bread here. I think that's only three. And then four. And then close my bread back up. If you guys watch my uh, video where I remodeled my kitchen, you'll see I actually made a kind of a built-in bread box up here. Great little place for my bread to be. I love it. So now let's get this. Um, I thought about maybe doing one of them with mayonnaise because I'm going to make this the same way that you'd make a grilled cheese. But I just decided just to do butter this time. So we're going to butter this bread as well as we can. <laughs> kind of tearing the bread a little bit. A lot of people I hear leave their butter out. Now, I read on the package says keep refrigerated after opening. Do you guys leave your butter out so it's soft all the time? I don't think I like that practice, but I don't know. I use Country Crock. Um, it's not a shout out to them. It's not anything. It's just it's what I use, and I don't really have a specific reason why I use that. So let's flip this uh, ham real quick. Put our butter up. Let's flip this ham. Oh yeah, now it's, it's getting cooked. That's what I was wanting right there. The last time I tried this, my ham was warm, but I, I don't know, I just kind of wanted it cooked a little bit more. So now that we got this, we'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to build these in the pan, um, I think. So we'll get our ham out. It 
as you can see, I don't have a lot of countertop to work with. And then we'll reheat our, hand, our pan up. And then we'll go ahead, take and open our cheese. That way we're ready to go. And yes, I'm just using regular American cheese. I would use other cheese if I had any, but I'm out. I was a piggy. I ate it all. All right. So now we're going to throw down a piece of bread and stack some ham on it, about half of this, of course. We're going to make two sandwiches, one for now, one for later. And then we're going to go ahead and put our cheese on it. And then we're going to go ahead and put the other piece of bread on it. And I've spilt some ham in there and I don't want it burning. So I'm going to get it out of there. And we'll just wait a few minutes and let that get nice and golden brown on that side. Kind of throw our trash away. And this is how I'm judging. Now this is the first time I've ever made them this way. But this is how I'm judging that my ham's done good enough. If you can see how it started getting a little darker around the edges, to me that's good enough. I don't want it crispy crispy. I just want it a little cooked. So we've got that in there right over the, the fire. Still got a couple little pieces of ham in there I'm going to work on getting out. One, one of the pieces of ham just popped and landed up on top. There we go. <coughs> so this is basically, let me get you guys straightened up on the camera here just a little bit. And you can see I've got a sink full of dishes from where I made the uh, fried green tomatoes earlier. So... I'm getting ready to check it now. Go ahead and flip it. Uh oh, got it a little too done. Not bad, it's good enough. Go ahead and get the plate out. Stick that over there. <coughs> I definitely want to make sure that my cheese is melting. Oh, it is, it's melted, melted. I know that's not ready. I just want to keep it from sticking. I don't use any oils or chemicals when I'm doing this. It's just straight into the pan. Yeah, and as you guys can see, I'll show you when it's done. Uh, got that one crispy, so I'll eat that one now. And the other one I'm making for lunch. I'm going to have half of this this morning and half of it for lunch. And uh, I'll eat the bad one now. Oh, that's perfect. All right, let's build another one in the pan. I was a little neater with that one and didn't spill anything. Let me go ahead and rinse this off. people I want you to know just because you didn't see me wash my hands in the middle of the video I just finished another video of cooking so my hands are perfectly clean normally I like to start my videos out with let's wash our hands and I didn't think of it this time because I had just gotten done cooking the uh, fried green tomatoes but we're gonna keep that out and I just keep everything cleaned up and everything going really good so let me get this in here cooked and I'll bring you guys right back and yes, i got to reach up here and try to pause this thing. Alright, so there it is. And as you can see, I did get one a little more burnt than the other. It's not bad. I still like them that way. I could have flipped it over and showed you the good side. And said, oh look, you know, I did perfect. But, you know, some people may not like them that crispy. If not, just mind your fire a little bit more and take it off a little bit quicker than I did. So now let's get the others out. And you see a couple already taken bites out of. So I'm going to eat the worst one. Ooh, these are still warm. Extremely warm. 
So I think that's about where I want to go right there. I'll save the rest up for lunch. But there's a lot of grease trapped on this plate. So let's start off by getting us a clean plate, drying it off, and switch over. Because we definitely don't want grease on our bacon and, and uh, or not bacon, oh boy. Uh-oh, I see my next video. Bacon, ham, and cheese, and maybe some Swiss cheese. Oh, man. Anyways, as you can see, there's a lot of grease on that. So let me throw that in the trash real quick. And we'll get this running under some hot water. And then we'll take our good one, and we'll put it over here. Ugh, oh, look at the mess up underneath that. All right, so now everything looks good. Presentation is 90% of your accomplishment. If it looks good, they'll taste good. So there it is. This is going to be my breakfast and my lunch. With that being said, let me get you guys up here where you can actually see me. And I'm very different, so let me pause it. I have to clean because if not, I won't feel right doing my outro. All right, and we're back. And we'll go ahead and cover this one with our hover cover and put it in the microwave for today at lunch. And then we're all ready with ours for this morning. I'll get me a good glass of milk and away we'll go. We'll have a good meal. So let me get you guys up here where I can say goodbye to you guys in the correct fashion. Let me see, can I bring you guys up here? I should fire the cameraman, right? I really should. So anyways, with all that being said, you guys please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, like the video. If you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button. Once you do, smash that bell notification. Go all the way up to the top and click all so you'll be notified on every single video that we post. And share us on your social media pages and follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video. And whoa, am I ever crooked. Let me straighten this up. See my hand? Beep. Oh, but it might be a little bit the other way so all right anyways need to fire that cameraman i'm telling you and since i am my own cameraman yeah you know what's going to happen here in a minute we're going to get up close and personal and we'll poke you in the ear to turn this thing off and blah 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 blah. so you guys make sure that you share us on your social media pages and follow us on facebook under general vlog video and please remember when i ask you to subscribe it's not like a magazine subscription it's 100 percent free does not cost a dime, just helps our channel grow the same way a thumbs up helps our channel grow. So with all that being said, you guys already know I'm my own cameraman, so I hope you have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And we will see you on the next video. And well, now I want to do my other outro about being my own cameraman and I can't. So, well, you guys know what I'm going to do. I'm getting ready to go eat. We'll see you on the next video or the next live stream. Hope you have a super, super great day and please, please, please stay safe.